Welcome to Jackal Digital, I'm Simon and today I will show you how to make an audio visualizer as easily as possible and hopefully without needing any experience. As you may know, I do have a playlist in DaVinci Resolve how to make audio visualizers. Among all of these videos, only the MIDI audio visualizer does not need any additional plugin installation. And even then, the MIDI audio visualizer may not be best suited for total beginners. As Nayo has pointed this out, and what I decided to do is take a look if there is something else outside in the wild. Now I do know that you can make audio visualizers in Blender, but I have never done one, maybe a topic for another video, but I found this website, musicvid.org. Now this website has not been updated for a very long time and I think the project is dead, still up and running and usable, but the same people or person has made visit.io. So let's see, decline, done, disable the ad blocker, okay, well it's disabled. And let's go to Chrome, Weezy.io, go full screen. So the things that you need to know about Weezy.io is that it's completely free. You can basically make anything that you want. It does not have any watermark and you can also export 4K at 60 frames per second. Now you can log in and sign up, but you don't need to. So let's just make something and mind you, this will be my second time using it. The first time that I've used it, I just basically went a little bit over the templates. So we have, let's see, editor at the top. You can use one of the templates if you like. You can make your own. So let's see which one. I found this one to be pleasing. So we have music, I'll just turn the volume down. So you have image, the visualizer, some text, and you have the duration of the song. So in this case, you have the compositions here, which are all of the elements that make this visualizer. In this case, if you want to change the image, you will find to the image, you have mask, shadow, and image. Now this one is not it. As you can see, this one is the loading image. So you have the cover earth. This one is glow. And I think this one is the actual image. And you also have the cover earth mask. So you can upload it or remove it and drop an image in. Let's see what I have. So use this one. Then we'll have the glow image. You don't need to use the same one, but it does make sense if you do. In some cases, as you can see, when you upload an image and remove it previously, this will not upload it you will then have to drag the image in. And again with this one, not showing up, put the image in, and now we have some glow in the back. When it comes to the text, you can change the artist name, type something in, song name, no idea which one, I do have some. So I have the disco chill. How do I put the song in? Mm, let's see, choose audio. Did the images stay? They did. So at the moment, everything is working as it should. So we can make a bunch of changes to all of the elements. The one that you want to change is probably the spectrum visualizer. And what will this actually change? Absolutely no idea. 
So this actually changed the spectrum visualizer. Can I use Ctrl Z to go back? Oh, I cannot. Was it this one? Not exactly, but this is how I can make the changes. Now let's see, you will want to go to the analyzers. You have two of them. We have the spectrum glow and the spectrum. And you can adjust the ceiling, the color. Let's see, what about the glow? Is it the same? And you have a bunch of other options that I have absolutely no idea what they do. But you can also set like triggers when you have a base that goes way up and something like that. So we have the audio. Now for some options you need to sign in. You also have lyrics mapper. I have no idea how to use this option. But it is something that you can actually use. Now when it comes to the background you have two options. You have the shader item, which is just the background, but then you can also have a blurry background. You do have an option to overlay something on top of a background. So let's add a new layer unnamed. As you can see, you have a bunch of options what you can add. So this is an effect that I've added, but I don't see any changes. So instead of using the spooky effect, let's add an effect here. We can add a camera shake. At least we should be able to add it. But I think this affects which layer you have selected. So in this case, maybe we should apply it to this background. And in fact, yeah, and now the background is shaking. It's shaking way too much. But this is how you can change these effects. So you have to select the layer, add an effect to it to make the changes. So we have now the camera shake, you can adjust the values. Now this is how you can change an existing template. How can you make a new one? Let's say a new project. And this is completely empty. You have some elements already inside. You have the spectrum visualizer. And one song inside, just so you can see what the result will be. So again, you can simply click on the 2D spectrum, change the presets. If you like what you see, I think you can then change the image, maybe. Not so in this case. But you could add maybe this one and add an image on top of it. So now if I wanted to add my own image, I think in this case, let's see, do I have to sign in? I don't think I would have to sign in to upload the image, but that is how you would put an image, video or audio in if you don't want to make additional customizations. But once you have the visualizer done, you will simply go to file, export, uh-huh. So you do need to sign in if you want to export. So I'll quickly sign up. Now once you sign in, I do see that you have a tutorial which you should totally go through. I'll simply skip it because I'm at the step that I simply want to export. So as you can see, this will be running on your own PC, not on the server side. So do have a decent PC and maybe also limit the amount of effects and resolution and the frames per second that you have. Maximum size. This is quite generous in my opinion. So let's see, go to export and now we have the options. So 1080p, I think 30 FPS is enough. Start time and end time. 
Well, I guess this is because I did not make any changes. This was just a template and I did not put my own music in. Show advanced settings. What do we have? You can change the beat rate. This will be too much. I think 20 is good enough. You also have the presets, which is kind of like maybe OBS and a combination of handbrake. Now let's see how long this will take. It should not take long. And if you do use Wizzy to make audio visualizers, do read the comment down below. Currently you do not have any watermarks, so if you do use them, just put the last section in in the description of your video. So just like that, I have made an audio visualizer, which is not something that would be possible to do in DaVinci Resolve. And the thing that I did not mention is that you can actually specify the frequency range that you can use in Wizzy, which is also not something that's possible in DaVinci Resolve. And now that I'm logged in, I can click on this icon, upload my logo, it shows up. Can I simply put it in? I can, but this has now changed the background. Control Z, that does not help, sadly. So this would have to go under the unnamed layer plus add item. And now you can select what you want. In this case, I would use 2D image and I can now put the image in but it is way 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 too big so I have to scale it now the background image So you can click reset. And what can I do now with the image? Well, let me go to the image. We do have the keyframe, so you can record the animation. But I think instead of recording the animation, you want to add automation. So add a scale, that looks okay. Choose controller to automate. And I think the green looks okay. So choose that, how the image should scale and in which direction. It doesn't need to scale on the Z axis because we don't have any depth. And let's see. We also have a preview of the animation. If you look on the right hand side, so you get an idea how this animates. I like this one, so I'll choose this one. Add automation, not yet. Okay, let's go maybe with audio impact. Because this is what I want. I don't want to do this manually, so audio impact. And we can adjust the sensitivity, the maximum value, and the base value. So the base value is this scale, and the maximum value will be 0 0.3. Add automation. It has been added and now the image should be changing the size and it is. So as you can see you can simply add images and you could also add uh, text, another spectrum visualizer, particles and 3D. Now I think this about covers the basics of Wizzy. You can do a lot more with it and get better results. But in the half an hour that I've used it just now, I think the result that I got is a lot better than what you can achieve in DaVinci Resolve. At least the effects that you can have on the fly in Wizzy are not something that you can do easily in DaVinci Resolve. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and content like this one. 
and until next time Jacko, keep it digital.